In this tutorial, we'll be taking our island and putting in the Vicious Engine and actually running the demo so that we can actually run around our island and see how it feels. So if you haven't already, go to File Asset Manager and if you don't have everything checked in, like the island and stuff, go ahead and select them all and then click the check in button. I've already done that, so mine are all checked in. So I'm going to close this. Once it's all checked in, click on the game button and you are going we're going to want to get the physics demo map so click on the physics demo and it will load the map and you can see that Gwen our main character is standing here and you can see the different views of the map we're going to change um, the room set of our physics demo map so I'm going to click on the plus sign. It says do I want to check out physics demo? To change anything in the physics demo map we have to check it out. So we do want to check out the map. Then you can see that if I click on the plus sign now it'll let me change the room set that's in my physics demo map. So we're going to choose RS Island Grassy. So even though we have the physics demo map we're using RS Island Grassy as our room set. And now you can kind of see both of the room sets on top of each other. If you go to Tools, Clean, and Save, then you'll see that now we just have one map. And I can zoom out in a couple of the views. You might have noticed a bunch of other stuff laying around, you know, underneath the island now. We want to go ahead and get rid of that stuff. So if you go to Select by Name, you'll see a whole list of the objects that we have. So if you select them all, and then deselect the CHR Gwen because we want to keep Gwen and deselect RS outside that's our island and click select so you've selected everything except for those two things and then if you press the delete key say are you sure you want to delete the object say yes and now the only thing we have left in our select by name list is Gwen and our island. Now our island is much bigger than Gwen so she's hard to see. So we're going to go ahead and select on CHR Gwen and click select and you can see a little yellow dot there, a little yellow there, a little yellow there and so that's her. We are going to click on the translate tool and all of a sudden now we can move her around. So I'm going to move her up on top of the island and then way back to the front of the island this view is pretty nice, the top view. If I wanted her to start right there. And you can tell she's still up in the air pretty far. If you press the D key, it'll drop her to the ground. So now she's right on the ground at the front of the island. Now if I were to run this right now, she would start in her old position. That's because she has a default starting spot. And we're going to change that. We're going to go to the map button and you'll see on here on map started under the events and you'll see play sound Ruma. so if you click on that these are the different things that start when that map starts so for instance you can see that it plays the sound and then some other things it does in here the thing that's messing up is the last line where it tells us that Gwen is going to snap to a point so we're gonna click on that and then press the forward slash key that comments it out. If you press the forward slash key again, it uncomments it. Another way to comment it out is to right click on it and say comment out. But we want to make sure that's commented out. If you've done it correctly, it'll be light gray because it's not going to really be used by the code. And then we can close that. And let's press control S. That saves everything that we've done. And if I go to run, that should run our demo. So now I'm actually using the remote control. And you can see if I run over here, there's the sand. If I keep running down, I go into the water. I'm actually underwater right now. If I run back up, get out of the water, back up the sand, now let's try to get over to the uh, mountain area. Now notice how steep this part of the grass is over here. 
you'll notice that on part of it I cannot run up it. That's because it's too steep. So in the next tutorial we'll I'll show you how to change little parts of the train without having to go back and redo the entire height map. And so now I've entered into the second part of the island. And if you remember from the height map and where we placed the different textures, there's a couple rocky areas in the middle of this as well. And so that's our island. Kind of get a feel for how it looks and how it feels. And if you if it's nothing what you want, then you start from scratch and you start with a new height map or however you want to create your landscape. If it is what you want, but you want to change the little things here and there, then you can go back into 3D Studio Max and do that.